pretty sturdy. All right, I got the Cohoency patio umbrella holder. This is made to attach to your deck railing, either on the four x four post side of it or on the spindles. I'm gonna set this up and give you a demo, but let me tell you about it real quick. So this thing is about 28 inches long and it weighs seven pounds when fully assembled. Really strong feeling, durable steel here and it appears to be powder coated. So, and that's nice, that should help with its staying power and keep it from rusting anytime soon. So I'm gonna take some measurements and then I'm gonna attach this thing to the fence, but I'm gonna show you what you get measurement wise so you can determine whether this is the right one for you or not. It says that it's easy to install and that no tools are required. We shall see. According to the literature, it's 28 inches long. Um, I'm measuring this out at about 25 inches. These brackets measure out at just over eight inches. We have a couple of half inch screws right here. We have four long screws. Now let's see, I'm gonna measure these out at almost six inches. We have four shorter screws that you'll be using on spindles that I'm measuring out at a little under two and a half inches. We have the caps, and that's it. Let's assemble this thing and see what it looks like, and we'll attach it to something. All right, so let's see how easy this thing is to assemble. I'm just going to go ahead and take these two shorter ones and just screw them in here right now just so I got them in there and I don't misplace them. There's that. These are the parts that hold the umbrella in and give you the diameter. It says there's a 1.37 inch diameter right here, and it can go down to as small as 0.8 inch. Next part of the assembly is I'm going to take this piece with the two cuts in it, because that's going to go right here. I'm going to take one of the smaller half inch screws and thread those onto there. And guess what? We're going to need a tool, a Phillips head screwdriver, but that's it. That's all I think we're going to need on this. Brackets on. This is obviously the top of the flared part, and on the bottom we have this holes in the bottom in case any rain comes out. So next thing is just to find some place to attach it to. We're going to use the long bolts. Well, I think I'm going to attach it to a fence. If I wanted to, I could mount it to this pole, or I could actually mount it right to the fence itself. Or obviously, it's perfect for a 4x4 deck post or deck spindles. Let me just mount it to this fence, see what it looks like. There you go, pretty easy. I don't have a patio umbrella. Let's try a garden spade. That goes all the way to the bottom. Or I can lift it up a little, tighten it up here, tighten it up here. So as you can see, that was pretty easy to install. The only tool I actually needed was a Phillips head screwdriver. Super simple. So if you're looking for a patio umbrella mount that'll accommodate an umbrella from 0.8 inches to 1.37 inches in diameter, check out this one by Cohoency. Check it out.